Apple held their annual developer conference, WWDC, last week, and at it, they announced iOS 10. In addition to announcing iOS 10, they also immediately released the beta version of iOS 10 out to their developers. Now, I'm working on a video to show you all of the latest features that were introduced in iOS 10 and kind of do a complete walkthrough of the new version of the software. But I figured some of you might want to play with it right now on your own devices. And since I had to figure out a way to flash iOS 10 onto my own phone in order to do the video on the new features, I figured I would just share the way that I did it for you guys in this video. Now, normally you have to be a developer and be registered for a developer account, which costs $99 a year with Apple in order to download any of the betas. But thanks to a developer somewhere posting their developer profile online, something that you can actually download and tell Apple that your phone is a developer phone without actually having to pay for the developer account, you don't have to be a developer. And I'm going to show you how to use that to install iOS 10 beta right now. So first thing we need to do is download that developer profile onto our phone uh, that someone was kind enough to post somewhere on the internet. Now, I can't link to it directly because of legal reasons, but I can link to where it was posted on the internet and then you can go there and download it for yourself. So I've created a bit.ly link, which you can see below uh, and just type that into Safari, it has to be Safari, not Chrome, on your iPhone, not on your computer. Uh, and then it'll bring you to a page where you can then click on the iOS uh, beta 10 download link, you'll see it in the first comment, and that'll, that'll automatically begin downloading it to your phone. When it does, it'll automatically bring you into settings. You can simply tap install, put in your passcode if you have one enabled, and then tap restart. Now once it reboots, we're gonna head to settings, general, software update, and it'll search for a new update. And now that you're a developer device, it actually will find the iOS 10 beta firmware right there. And you can tap download and install, and it'll begin to download it. Now it will take a while, it is a large file, but if you're connected to Wi-Fi, that'll help obviously, and just wait for it to finish. Once it's done, it'll reboot a couple of times, so don't panic when you see it do that, and then you can just go through your normal setup process. And that's it. You're on iOS 10. Real difficult, right? Yeah, that's probably a loophole that's gonna get closed at some point, but for now, you can use it and play with iOS 10 yourself and see what you think. Again, though, please keep in mind that this is a beta version. It's the first beta version, in fact. Uh, so it's gonna be a little buggy. It's not gonna work terribly well. Don't freak out. Just understand that by installing it, you kind of know that that's gonna happen. But enjoy, uh, and coming soon, my video on iOS 10's new features that you could probably click to below if I've posted it. If not, subscribe to the channel, and as soon as it happens, you'll be notified. Hope you guys like this video, and if you did, please thumbs up it or share it, it is greatly appreciated. And if you do want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also reach out to me on Twitter, at The Unlocker. Would love to hear what you guys think about the videos, suggestions for new videos, all that stuff. Chat with me, happy to talk to you guys, and love hearing from you. Uh, and also in the comments below, let me know what you think, and if this worked for you, if it didn't, etc. As always though, thanks for watching.